I'd like to talk to you about the three options I'm giving you for the third assignment. Uh, for the third assignment, you can send me a regular paper, a paper with images embedded, or you can do the multimodal uh, project. Should you choose one of the first two, you can just upload it to turn it in. If you do the third one, then you're just going to create it as a blog. Let me run through these very quickly. Uh, the first one is going to look just like this. You're going to send me a paper that's going to be MLA formatted, uh, and I'm, it's going to read as a paper reads. Uh, you can also do something that's very similar, except you can have pictures in it. So the pictures are now going to serve as the evidence, and you're going to be referencing the imagery that you bring into the paper. Now, for the third one, you can just use the blog capabilities that we have already embedded in Blackboard. So you're just going to open up uh, a blog, and I'll have a link for you, uh, and that's where you would submit your paper. The cool thing here is that you can use some of the capabilities of writing in an online environment. So for example, you can create hyperlinks. Let's imagine that in your paper, you wanted to link me to the Propaganda Critic website, because that's where you're getting your information. You could just copy the URL, and then you, whoops, then you can create a hyperlink. If you click right here, you can just paste in that URL and insert it. And you'll see now that this has been hyperlinked. You can also embed images. You have to have them saved to your computer uh, first, but you can then just bring them in. So let me steal an image that I have from, uh, where is it? Let's go here. Uh, I think I've got one. Uh, that would work for this assignment. Here we go. And if I open that and insert it, okay, you can see that I now have the links that have been hyperlinked and I also have imagery. You can also, should you wish, embed uh, YouTube clips uh, into the project if you were doing commercials or something like that. So let's say, for example, that we decided that we wanted to go to YouTube and we wanted to use a video that we had uh, from a Nike commercial. So Nike commercial. If I find that video, we will do this one right here. All I need to do is share it. If I click on share and I click on embed, I can then copy that link there, come back to Blackboard. If I click on HTML here and I go to the bottom of the language, if I was writing something, you would see all of the text that I was writing too. And if I put in that embedded code, and I embed it, I now have that video. So that when I post my entry, you can see what it looks like. I have links that I can link to, I have imagery, I even have video I can play, and between all of this, most importantly, would be all of the writing that you would be using. So there's your third option. Again, you can do a regular paper, you can do a paper with images, or you can create the entire assignment on a blog and use some of these capabilities as well. If you have questions, let me know. Hope this helps.